Chi means heat and circulation. Gong, like Kung Fu, K-U-N-G, means technique. Chi Gong, technique to increase the Chi. Increase the circulation through our bodies so we can feel, feel better. General health for better balance, deeper breathing. Um, you know, give them a little preventative maintenance and to let them stretch and change while they still can before things shrink up too much. Most rewarding part about teaching? Uh, it's just seeing a change in people's face and attitude when they see there's a method and they can actually change instead of just being stuck with certain aches and pains that they can change and seeing that change. And some of the stories I've heard, you know, women that get cramps at night. They say, oh, I don't get cramps in the middle of the night to wake me up anymore. Oh, my shoulder doesn't hurt anymore. I had a lady that said, oh, I can bend down and touch my toes. I've never been able to do that all my life. And she's, you know, 60 something. And she was so happy. So those type of things. You know, you get a good feeling and you know you're helping. Oh, we start out at beginner and you just come in as a beginner and we teach you as you go. After you get through the hand form, uh, you become an intermediate. And you spend many years at intermediate and we show you some advanced things and eventually you become advanced. So we generally don't have belts. And as you just start out and you start where you are, people come to us twisted up in knots. And this is a method, a gung fu, a method to change. And we get people to change over time. So we're not levels. People just notice the change in themselves. Oh, I can walk up steps and I don't get winded. I can reach and reach the top shelf now. I don't have to get my husband. I was walking and I felt myself slip, but I stayed standing up. So that's what we do. And so it's a self-cultivation aspect because the more you change, because you come in here a certain way your body. And as you do Tai Chi Chuan, certain muscles have to lengthen and other ones have to shorten. So it's a progress that takes years to let things stretch, change, especially if you're doing damage. You gotta stop the damage, let things rebuild and repair. So that takes time. So that's why we generally don't have levels. And people come where they are and can do what they can. And as long as they're progressing, that's what we want. But we do have advanced things where we practice the martial because Tai Chi Chuan is a martial art. And we set it up where we can train things safely so we can use the martial art. And it's not to fight or beat up people. It's just so you're in the lab testing. So you see it works. And then you can correct your form that way by if it works to move somebody, then you know the angle to have it proper so it's natural so you can stretch and change without tension. A lot of people think this is alternative medicine. It's complementary medicine. So you do these things to recognize and we get a, a repertoire with our body because you're speaking a language with your body. So you feel an ache and pain and you do all this stuff. If it doesn't go away, you can go to your healthcare provider and tell them what's wrong. Give them more information so he can help you. So they go together rather than, you know, a lot of people say, oh, it's alternative and disregard other things. So you need them both, East and West philosophies. One of the people in the courtyard film, she's been a career dancer, lifelong dancer, teaching dances, and she said she continues to dance because she's been training Tai Chi Chuan. Oh, well, Tai Chi Chuan is a mind-body art. So we spend the first part moving, stretching, bending, changing, which is the yang type of thing. Then we use the meditation as internal to focus on the stillness. So we do a bunch of moving, then we focus on the stillness to let everything come together, balance out, and we relax.